Hey guys, what's up? It's Forte here, and today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to get um, high definition, like really high quality YouTube backgrounds that aren't pixelized. So basically, the secret is to save it as a PNG, and if your background is not like too complex, you could try saving it as a PNG, and you don't really have to watch this tutorial if it's less than one megabyte. But basically in this one, it's going to be showing you how to save it as a PNG, but shrink the file size. So yeah like this one this one was over one megabyte so I had to shrink it down to I don't know whatever is less than one megabyte like yeah okay so let's start off I'm gonna be using um, this dreams uh, fly I made this one like a couple days ago and it was over a megabyte and I'll show you that actually right now um, if I save it as a PNG so I'll be showing you three different ways. Actually, I'll show you two. One is really useless and it didn't help me at all. It saves like 0.1% of memory, which is nothing and didn't help at all. It was like two meg kilobytes, two kilobytes, which is not significant. So, alright, you'll see um, this file is 1.4 megabytes, which is 400 kilobytes over what I can use for a YouTube background. Um, the limit is 999 kilobytes, so like a megabyte, I guess. And yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like if you upload it as a JPEG. Oops, that was not so seven. All right, okay, I'll show you what it look like if you uh, upload it as a JPEG. You'll see some pixelization, and it'll look not as sexy as it should and look alright so I'm gonna just say this right at the start if your file is over one point like 1.5 I think you should not even bother with this and just try to take stuff out because this only works without if you're like 500 kilobytes over so which is still a lot I mean it helps and so look you'll see it pixelized on the gloss um, the text is pretty pixelized and um, yeah everything's a little bit fuzzy uh, just like the text and so I'm gonna show you how to save it as a PNG but shrink the file size so it's under a megabyte so let's start off with the first way remember this is 1.42 megabytes so I have to shrink it to under a megabyte and save it as a PNG still first way I do this right click right click hit flatten image on your Photoshop document and hit yes discard hidden layers and I'm just going to and save it as and immediately you'll see it's a huge difference it helps a lot if you're trying to shrink the file size PNG actually you know what no don't save it as a PNG like that save for web and devices um, go to PNG 24 and then turn off transparency you'll notice I think it helped a little bit like <laughs> like 10 megabytes, 10 kilobytes, I mean, it wasn't too much, but see, you'll see it's 1.324, and turn off transparency, and it's like 1.323 or something, <laughs> but, you know, it's something, you know that, actually, in this case, it didn't even help at all, last time it did, so, I'm going to go ahead and save Save for desktop. I'll call this one shrink PNG. I don't know. Whatever. Let's call it that. And immediately you can notice that it's already shrunken. Shrink? Shrunk? Shrank? It's already been shrinked. I don't know. About 100 kilobytes. So before 1.42, after you flatten it, 1.32. So that helps a lot right there. Um, but obviously it needs to be under a megabyte, so we gotta keep doing this. And this next way, you will lose some quality. Um, not like too much, I guess, but yeah, you'll lose some quality. I'll just say that right now. Um, okay, but yeah, so still you flatten it. Um, oh, also, how I got the JPEG, uh, I'm sure you guys already know this, you just save for web and devices, and you just save it as a JPEG, it's 
I think it's better than saving just saving as because you can control more of the uh, file size this way but this way of course when you put it upload when you, like you upload it to the internet you get um, less quality like it's fuzzy and you just play with the quality to get it under a megabyte so oops uh, I didn't mean to hit done uh, oh well yeah I did okay anyways um, so yeah I need to get 300 less kilobytes I guess 0.3 less megabytes um, so yeah here we go so save as it's flattened save as a JPEG um, that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna want to get this under like mm, maybe 300 so maybe 50 oh maybe not that much maybe 70 I think 75 actually how about that 74 75 I'm trying to push it try to get it like push it I need to find the actual limit I didn't really pay attention when I did this but anyway save as um, try to get that under maybe under 300 I think that should be enough and I'll just save it over the JPEG one I have and replace it and there you go so now you'll have your JPEG file that's under 300 kilobytes and you open it in Photoshop and then you save it as a PNG and whatever I'll just save it as a PNG save as PNG and hit I'll just put it over the shrink one hit save non interlace interlaced it makes it um, uh, yeah it makes the file bigger I think I'm not sure what interlace does I think it like keeps all the frame or the layers or something I don't know and then you'll have look at that under a megabyte already so yeah that's actually <laughs> it so I'll show you both actually how about that so yeah so you went from this 1.42 megabytes to this 955 as a PNG um, PNG is what you want remember that for high quality and it keeps quality so um, delete that remember you don't have to do this if you save it as and you're under a megabyte then your congratulations like <laughs> that's exciting for you so here's the PNG I'll save it as a full quality um, Full quality JPEG, and you'll notice that there's a difference. Hopefully, even if it is very uh, like minute or whatever, there's a difference. Trust me. Eight minutes, not bad. Themes and colors, new theme. Make sure you hit new theme when you do this, or else you can't upload over 256. So, JPEG. All right, so here is the first one. You'll notice um, this one is not as pixelized. It's actually pretty solid. Um, this is a JPEG. This is a lot less fuzzy, and there's not as much pixelization along the letters. Uh, and then if I switch over to the JPEG, you'll notice it's really fuzzy here. Um, the the this gloss right here is a lot more fuzzy. The text is more fuzzy. So if I switch back and forth, you'll notice here. Actually, better yet, let me do this. Uh, Okay, here we go. Compare it right here on the dreams right there. Look at the difference. Here, I'll center it more. Uh, oh gosh. Alright, check out the difference. Huge difference. Am I right? Look at that. Nice and solid color. Very like messed up colors. This is all pixelized, this is all smooth. 
so there you go there you have it that's how you get the high quality um, high or basically that's how you shrink your PNG file size so you can get high quality uh, that's pretty much it guys um, if you have any problems remember I said this only works for files less than 1.5 megabytes um, actually I don't know you could try it with higher higher file sizes I really don't know you'll probably have to end up losing a lot of quality when you save it as a JPEG but uh, it still comes out better than a JPEG at 100% quality so there you have it um, that's pretty much all there is to it uh, 1.42 and 955 kilobytes uh, thanks for watching everybody subscribe for more tutorials um, send me requests I I don't know whatever you guys need to learn if I know how to do it I'll make a tutorial um, just message me or post a channel comment or just comment on this video also if you need any help yep do that so go ahead and like this video that would be awesome of you uh, subscribe and, or stay subscribed if you aren't uh, or are already and yeah, see you guys later.